So how do you get control of your money? Well, let me tell you the things you don't want to do because these are five mistakes you make that result in you giving up control of your money. Let's dive in. Mistake number one. This is one of the biggest lies we've all been taught and one of the biggest conditioning scams, in my opinion, that all of us have been put through. And, it's, and we've all been put through this since the day we were born. Let me, let me first, before I get into these, explain something. The most important thing you need to understand is why you've made these mistakes. You've made these mistakes not because of anything you've done wrong. It's because of how knowledge is passed down. You see, knowledge is passed down from generation to generation, and when it's passed down, it often loses valuable information. Sometime a long, long time ago, people didn't give up control of their money like they do today. But as that knowledge is passed down, it's lost stuff, and therefore, the cycle continues, and it loses valuable pieces. You ever heard of the game Telephone? So, here's what you've missed out on. And here are the five mistakes you're making and the five things you need to fix. So, mistake number one, and this is more of a question I'm going to ask you, is why do you keep putting money in a traditional bank account? Well, you're probably thinking about that dumbfounded because you're just like, well, I don't know because I guess that's what I've been told to do. Precisely. It's what you've been told to do by your parents. It's what you've been told to do by your grandparents. It's what you've been told to do because everybody else does it, right? Oh, what else am I going to do with my money? I'm going to put it in the bank. But who makes all the money when you give up control of your money to the bank? Notice how I say you're not making deposits into the bank. You're giving up control because you really are. When that money leaves your hands, the hard-earned dollars that you traded hours for and you put it into the bank, what's happening? You are giving the bank the ability to make your money go to work for the bank. And that's exactly what the bank does. The bank takes your deposits. They don't, I, I want to make sure all of you understand something. The bank isn't taking your money and putting it in a little box with your name on it in that vault, contrary to what some of you might actually believe. The bank is taking your money and lending that money out to people. People for car loans, people for boat loans, people for mortgages, people for credit cards, people for every type of loan you can, you can imagine. And in the bank doing that, they're making a spread. They might pay you 1% or less on the money you gave up control of, and they lend it out at anywhere between 413% more than what you earn. That's right, I did say that. The banks are making 400 to 1300% more than you are on the deposit you leave there because the banks in their full right, have control of your money because you don't get a call from the bank saying, uh, hey, Mr. Depositor, yeah, we were thinking about lending your, uh, your money that you have on deposit here to uh, this guy, Jim. He's, he's going to buy a Ferrari. Are you okay with that loan? You'd probably say no, but you can't because the bank is in control. The bank makes the decisions. The bank makes all the money, and there's nothing you can do about it. So that's the first mistake you're making. The second mistake you're making is you're giving money to Wall Street. So let's quantify that. What have you also been taught? Well, let me tell you a story about what I was taught. When I was a young boy, my grandmother was a huge part of my life. And my grandma, I remember as I started getting a little older, said to me, she said, Chris, when you get a job, Ask them if they've got a 401k. Don't make the mistakes grandpa and I did. Start putting money away for your retirement so you don't end up like us. So what did I do? I got a big boy job. And the first thing I asked that HR people is I said, hey, do you got a 401k? And they're like, yes, we do. Wonderful. But then see, my grandma had asked, told me to ask one other question. She said, Chris, when you find out that they have a 401k, ask them, do they match? I'm like, what's that grandma? She's like, well, it's free money. Just ask them. So. Yeah, you got a 401k. Ooh, all right, do you match? Yes, we do. We match 3% dollar for dollar. Great, grandma said that's free money. So what did I do? I gave my control of those hard-earned dollars I earned up to that 401k, i.e. Wall Street. Because where did that money go? Into mutual funds inside the 401k. Where did that money go? Wall Street. And people traded my money. They made my money go to work for them. And I paid them a fee to use my money to go out there and make more money for themselves. Folks, I'm not saying a 401k is bad. I'm not saying matches are bad, but you are giving up control of your money when you're putting it into a 401k because your dollars today are nothing more than a means of exchange. 
Money for food, food for money. Money for car, car for money. Money for house, house for money. That's all it is, means of exchange. The other thing your money does is your money loses value every day to inflation. So today, what your money can buy, tomorrow it will be able to buy less. Next year, it will be able to buy less and so on and so forth. That's always been that way. It's called inflation. It's your dollars become weaker every dollar that the Fed decides they want to print. Got it? Great. So if your dollars every single day are getting weaker, wouldn't it make sense to have control of your most valuable dollars, which are the dollars you have today? But when you put them in a 401k, you're, you're literally agreeing that you don't think your dollars are worth the most today because you're not going to use those dollars for 5, 10 to 15 years. Whenever you're 59 and a half or whenever you retire, that's when you'll take that money out. So because that much time has gone on, you've lost purchasing power. Taxes, are they going up or down? They're going up. So you're getting a tax deduction by putting money into that 401k. And later, 5, 10, 15 years when you retire, that dollar is going to be taxed at a higher tax rate. Stop believing the nonsense that you're told that you're going to make less in retirement. And if that's your plan, stop watching this video because you are planning to fail. The mistake you make is you give up control of money to Wall Street. The third mistake you make, this is an easy one. You buy into these get rich quick schemes. Just because the return's super big, you think, oh my God, this is a great investment. And every time you take that bait, every time you make emotional based decisions when it comes to your money, and every time you seek unrealistic returns, what happens? Come on, let me ask you. I'm sure all of you have done this. Oh, you lose money? That's right. Your money is yours no more. So stop. Stop being unrealistic with your expectations and start being realistic and never get greedy because when you get greedy with your money, your money will be yours no more. So the fourth mistake people make with their money is instant gratification. People make money, they spend money. They make money, they spend money. I mean, look at your situation. You just get a, when you get a raise, what do you do? Do you take that extra money you got in a raise and do you actually put it away and do something productive with it? No, you go and spend it. Most people, when they get a raise, they've already figured out because they already knew they were getting a raise or a bonus. They've already spent that money. Oh, when I get, you remember that movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? Before he got that bonus, his Christmas bonus, he had already had everything planned out. He had already planned on putting a pull in for his family. So when he opens that envelope up, he gets a membership to the Jelly of the Month Club. Now, is that going to pay for his pool? Nope. You see, one of the biggest mistakes we've been conditioned into doing is thinking that we need things now, uh, is buying into temptation, buying into the instant gratification, like as if we can't delay gratification anymore. We have the means, we have the money, so let's just go buy everything we want. Oh, you need that new outfit. Oh, you need that new phone. You got to have that new car. Really what you're saying is that you need that acceptance and approval from others because of what you can buy. Don't buy into that lie. Don't be afraid to delay gratification. It will serve you well because that is a massive mistake. That is why people are on the financial hamster wheel. I call it financial slavery. Round and round you go. You keep trading more of your hours for dollars and then you take those dollars and you keep spending them as fast as you make them. You never get ahead. That is a massive mistake that you're making. The fifth and final mistake you make, and there's a lot more, but we're only covering five today, is that you invest your money in the hopes and dreams of earning big returns. And that probably comes at the expense of not paying your debts. So let's talk about that. And I wanna put this into perspective. So you've got money and you're looking at that money that's sitting there and you're saying, okay, what do I do with this? And on the other side, you got all these debts. You got credit cards, lines of credit, car loans. You look at the money you've got and the debts you have and you say, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the money I have and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to take a bunch of risk in this really great investment that my neighbor just told me about that I know nothing about, but he said it's going to pay me a 20% return and it's going to be super safe and we're going to get paid in six months. Six months comes no return. 12 months comes, no return. And then everything falls apart and you realize that that wasn't a good investment and you potentially could lose all your money. Let's turn the clock back to the beginning of that. 
You got all this money. Your neighbor tells you about this great investment. You don't know anything about that investment. It's not something that you know, like, and understand. So what you say is you say, you know what? No, I'm going to take this money and I'm going to make the easiest and best return I can. I'm going to pay off my debts. So you pay off your credit cards, you pay off your car loan with all that money. So now you no longer have the money, but the debts are gone. And then what you should do is add one step. This is something you're not doing because you're making the mistake of seeking the big returns when the big returns are sitting right there in the money that you're giving away. So if you pay off those debts, figure out what the interest rate was that you were being charged on those. Most credit cards, over 20%. Most car loans, I don't know, three to 6%. Imagine if that payment that you made to your credit cards that you just paid off and that payment that you made on that car loan, imagine if those payments went back into your bank account. How much would you be making? Well, you'd be recycling and recapturing all of the returns that you were giving away on those debts. That's the easiest and best return you can make. But the mistake you've been making is you constantly are seeking unrealistic returns. That big return that's right around the corner and that will always result in you losing your money. So folks, go after the safe money. Go after the realistic returns and understand how you can take back control of the money by simply choosing to change one thing. And that is where that money goes first. If you like this video, folks, check this one out. How am I supposed to deal with inflation? This is a very real concern today. So watch that video on how you can deal with inflation. If you like this, click that little button down at the bottom that says subscribe and also smash that little bell at the top so that you're notified every time we put a new video out. Folks, go out there and take back control of your money. We'll see you on the next one.